Greetings, this is August 14th, and at 12.30 a.m. the MODIS Terra does a flyby and gives us an opportunity to see early heat detections. So we can use the NASA FIRMS system and zoom into a couple of fire zones and uh, see if there's been any change since the last VIIRS update. We are looking at the Flat Lake fire zone. This is the MODIS data in yellow and the VIIRS data in red. So contrary to what we've been doing in the past, this time the yellow will mean the most recent and the red is from yesterday. So here we are looking at the northern flank of the Flat Lake fire zone. This is the data for yesterday and now today. It's pulled back a bit from Highway 97 over on the right hand side, but it has pushed northeastwards. Let's zoom a little closer and see it again. This is the data from yesterday and now today. These are 750 meter squares being depicted. This moved approximately two squares north of that large cluster at the top of the screen. They also moved to the northwest by approximately three squares. That's just over two kilometers expansion towards the Moose Valley area. And there definitely was a pullback to the west from the right hand side of the screen where 93 mile is. The winds are currently showing us five kilometers an hour from the southwest. We've moved over to the White Rock Lake fire zone. Again, we're looking at that VIIRS and the MODIS. And when we switch to today, all we'll see is the MODIS. So these are the heat detections for yesterday and now today. It does appear that there's been slight expansion and maybe even a push to the west. Let's uh, zoom into some areas. This is approximately center of the fire zone. Bulo Lake is uh, right in the center of the screen. We're looking at yesterday and now today. In the upper right hand portion of the screen, that line of hot spots did move northeastward slightly uh, south of Sweets Bridge in that forested block. We've moved to the southeastern flank of the fire. Uh, we're looking at Kalini Beach. Uh, west side is on the right hand portion of the screen. Uh, Fintry is just out of view below on the screen. This is the data for yesterday and now today. It did look like some movement eastward on those two hot spots north of west side. The other modus hot spots look like they stayed within the existing perimeter from yesterday. We've moved up to the northeast flank of this fire. We're looking at Monty Lake uh, just to the left of center. Uh, and the Paxton Valley is visible running east to west across the upper portion of the screen. This is the infrared data from yesterday and now today. I'm not seeing any eastward expansion and these hotspots appeared to stay within that existing perimeter from yesterday. The hot spots appear on the hillside. I'm not seeing any in the valley. The wind for this region is currently coming from the southwest at five kilometers an hour. And those winds can be variable depending on the location and the terrain and the elevation. We are moving westward towards the Tremont Creek fire. This is the infrared from yesterday and now today. I saw some consolidation of these infrared clusters, but over on the northeast flank in that forested block, I did see some slight movement northeastwards towards Savannah. Let's zoom in and we'll see the infrared change again. This is a comparison between yesterday and now today. There may have been some slight expansion on the perimeter, but most of the activity appeared to stay in place. And finally, I just want to zoom into the uh, Lytton fire. It's shown a lot of activity recently, especially on that southeast flank, but I am noticing the activity to the south of Lytton. Uh, here we see the modus for today. Let's zoom in. This is infrared from yesterday, and I'm looking south of Lytton on the right hand side of the screen, and now today. And we can see there was an increase. There's what, uh, seven hotspots now showing in that area. Each one of those represents 750 meters. So 
It is a considerable portion. This may have been in the fire zone of the past. So we'll have to compare that with uh, the VIRRS, which comes out uh, next in orbit, I believe, around 3.30 a.m. And displaying on windy 9 kilometers an hour from the south. So while those winds may not be favorable for Lytton, uh, they are favorable for Logan Lake. And that's the situation in southern BC. So many communities are interlaced with these fires that when the wind changes in a positive direction for one community, it may affect the next community over. And uh, in Logan Lake, I've heard that there may be more than a few bears prowling around. So if you're out on the highways and byways, please be careful. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, this was just a quick video to cover some uh, modus information that came in after 1230. And uh, we can do a quick comparison with yesterday's latest data. Please be safe and keep your nose to the breeze.